What is up guys, CNS3 here, and welcome to our new series of Earthbound on the Virtual Console of the Wii U. Um, so we're going to start doing a few different series um, called Throwbacks. And that's where we're going to be playing a lot of older games um, like Earthbound and even stuff that was on um, passage systems like PS3 and Xbox 360, but mostly on PS3 because we don't have Xbox 360s. But just to give us a bit more of stuff that we could go back and play and experience again with you guys or experience for the first time because, um, well, I did have a... Um, little start at the beginning with the other NES, but um, I didn't get too far, just to see how the game was, but this is actually the first time I really ever played Earthbound, so I'm excited to share my first experience with you guys, um, and um, yeah, so I just got a Wii U, and this is one of the first games I bought with it, along with Smash Bros. and Shovel Knight, because really wanted to try it out, so what, what color, ugh. Let's just go with plain. <laughs> I'll be boring. Please name him. Uh, we all know he is Ness. But for the sake of the playthrough, I am CDNS3. There we go. Name her. Uh, let's call her Taylor because that's my girlfriend's name. So first name that pops up in my head. Taylor. Taylor. I guess that works. Close enough. Um, this guy. Um. What do we call this guy? Uh, shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Let's go with, uh, well, Rhett has appeared on this channel, if y'all remember the PT trailer demo that I, uh, the PT demo, I'm sorry, that I played, uh, it's my cousin, he appeared with us, oh, this guy's definitely Chaz, name my pet, um, well, Chaz is a dog, uh, and it's Ellie, so we'll just call the dog Ellie. It's almost like real life now. Favorite homemade food? Um, ooh. Well, I really like to cook fish. It's like my specialty, so I'll just put fish. I love seafood. Growing up in Louisiana, if, if you don't like seafood, you're just like weird. My favorite thing. Video games, I guess. Duh. Oh, let me, uh. No, that's right. Went back a little too far. Let's play games. I hope the game audio is not too loud or too soft. I don't know. I hope, I hope the audio is good. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what that's about, but. Oh man. The year is 1990X. <laughs> Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. I was about to say England. <laughs> Eagle Land. And yes, I will be doing all the voices again, just like I did for Pokemon. Um, I find it could be a little more entertaining. And this is my house. Oh, shit. Shit's going down. Can we go in here? Yeah, okay. 
who's our sister. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Oh, a present. Oh, not, not talk to. Check. Open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. Nice. Got the bat already. Sweet. I didn't, I didn't do that in my, the, when I played it the other day. God dang it, people walk so fast. What was that noise? CS3, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. The dialogue in this game. I have to say, the dialogue in this game is, is pretty hilarious. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I don't care if Ellie's a, a, a girl. I'm giving her a guy voice. Like a Clifford voice. Alright, so shit's happening. There's cops all over the place. Oh, there's another present. I need to get that too. Yeah. I keep doing that. I keep spamming A. A bread roll. Oh. Do you know me? I love my carbs. I love my breads. Who's this guy? Hey, CS3. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, CS3, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? What the fuck? Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Adrit's house. Okay. Let's just talk to a cop so, you know, that meteorite looks different than usual. It's a strange and marvelous. As well as mysterious. Ooh. So that's what's going on there. Hey, CS3, don't be rubbernecked. You gotta get the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange bitty right. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Clear out, get out of my way. 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 Of my out, get my whoops, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I guess with what Pokey said, we have to head back. So head back. I think this first episode is going to be a little longer. I'm going to try to keep the episodes to around 15 minutes. I want to keep it long, uh, sh way shorter than I did with Pokemon. Um, but this one, since the first episode, uh, we'll see. I want to keep them probably around 20 minutes or so. We'll do that. Welcome home, CNS3. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off the bed now. But yeah, I think 20 minutes is about good. Later that night. It must have been only like two, three hours later, because... It was nighttime already. Is that someone banging on the door? What's going on here? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. That's all you have to say about someone knocking at the door. It's annoying. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. My land. What could be knocking at the door this time of night? Would you answer it? Alright, so let's go answer that dang door. Oh, is this fat fuck? Hey, listen to what I gotta say. When I took Piggy to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, 
The police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And and they're really getting going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No, fuck you. You were a dick to me earlier. Okay, good, buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Alright, let's talk to mom. I know that that dog is unreliable, but you should take Ellie along. That actually sounds just like Chaz's, dad, uh, Chaz's dog already. It's pretty unreliable. Uh, the cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous young boy. Strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You're, you'll go so far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. God dang it. Why do I keep... <laughs> why don't I just get out of bed? Like, why don't I just wear my normal clothes to bed? Like, instead of going all the way back to my room, changing. <sighs> Man. I'm having trouble reading this, though. Yes, come with me. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Ellie joins you. Alright, come on, fat. Sorry about giving you that game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. Don't. Do, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Oh, I hit B. I'm so used to, like, Pokemon just automatically saying, like, if it's B, it just means, like, the opposite of what they want you. Oh, well. Sure. Okay. Pokey joins you. Equipped weapon. Cracked bat. All right. Oh, someone's at the phone. Anyone's gonna answer? I guess I have to freaking answer it. I gotta do everything around here. Mom, you're useless. Jesus. See this three answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM, ATM card? Any cash machine, withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Okay. That was not a weird conversation at all. Uh... I'm stuck. Oh, there's a door. Oh, we got our first fight. I haven't, I haven't played this far out yet, so I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, it's almost like a Pokemon turn-based thing. Okay. I was wondering how the combat system was in here. Um, bash the runaway dog. The runaway dog used a biting attack, six damage. Ooh, that hurts. Ellie charged forward, seven HP of damage to the runaway dog. Pokey, you see this three as a shield, you bitch. <laughs> You are a bitch, Pokey. So, acted all innocent. Okay. So, how do I, um, know the damage the dog has taken already? I guess you, I guess I don't, I, I don't know. It's just, you go until it dies, I guess. Alright, we won our first fight. Gain three, exp four experience, I'm sorry. CNS 3's level is now two. Offense went up by two. Maximum HP went up by two. Maximum PP went up by two. Realize the power of life up. Alpha. Nice. Nice. So we now have um, a new ability. I guess as a Psy ability. And then uh, we gained a level. We gained the yard. We got the yard! So, yeah, life up is a recover side. Okay. Making a loud piercing howl. Pokey, you bitch. You're a little bitch. Stop using me as a shield. Stop trying to be all innocent and fight. Oh, critical. Nice. 
Way to go, Ellie. Man, there's a lot of dogs. You engage the runaway dog. The runaway dog is making a loud piercing howl. <laughs> Apologize profusely. God, Pokey, you're so useless. Why are you even with me right now? Play dead. What are you doing? <laughs> ah, the dog should be the one that would be playing dead. Why would the dude be playing dead? That makes no sense. You are a piece of shit, Pokey. You are a piece of shit. Ugh. What's my health like? 20? Okay, I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, there's a snake. Interesting, interesting. A little bit of variety. The coil snake. Look at this artwork. Pokey played dead, you piece of shit. Ooh. Wow, he was not very strong at all. One experience. It's pretty pathetic, but hey. Did what we gotta do. This motherfucker over here. There, there he is. There's a uh, picky. Picky and poke. Pokey. A woof! If I knew this is going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. No, don't leave me with Pokey. <laughs> no, you bitch. Ellie, you bitch. You left me here. Oh my god. Meteorite. Let's check out the meteorite. Caution. There are still lots of fires burning here and there. It's hot. Okay. Just want to see if it would do anything. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. Bitch, you were sleeping under a tree. Don't lie. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, Elise. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. I I, I agree with you, actually. That, that's exactly what I am saying, too. Picky joined... Oh, wow, I'm reading it in Picky's voice. Picky joined us. So, um, I guess let's continue with the first episode. Let's at least bring Pokey and Picky back before, um, uh, calling it an episode. I don't know which one's talking. I would just say it's Pokey. CDS3, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Oh shit, what the fuck? A fucking bee or whatever? Oh yeah, he is a bee. Fucking bee flies out of a meteorite. What the fuck is this shit? A bee I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer. Sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are the boy, CDS3. This, I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Isn't that uh, the three sides of the Triforce? I know wisdom, courage is one. Maybe not friendship. I think it's power. Wisdom, courage, and power. It's close enough, though. It's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, funny. The legends of Zelda. <laughs> the legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. 
You have much work to do, CDS3. Did you listen to what I told you? Thank you for listening to my long story. You are an exceptional as I expected you to be. Jesus Christ. That little bee's got a, a, a very deep voice for his size, too. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ah, Buzz Buzz. CDS3, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Because you're a little bitch, Pokey. God damn. Ugh. Oh. You're probably scared of your fucking shadow. Oh, wrong way. This way. Such a long way back home. <laughs> oh, what's what's going on here? Oh, it's uh, what's his face? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at following Master Gygus's plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Star, Starman Jr., that's what it was. I knew it was, it was Star something. I would say Starling. The only reason why I know what it is is because of uh, Smash Bros., the trophy. Because I, I never played Earthbound before. Or uh, any other games in the Mother series. <sighs> why are you even protecting Pokey? He's a fucking useless piece of shit. Sci-fi or beta. Bigger fire! Bigger fire! Oh my god, so much dialogue going on in a battle, Jesus. I just want to bash him good. Holy shit, 117 damage. That's a lot. <laughs> and I'm doing three. Apologize. Pokey, stop apologizing. There's nothing to apologize for. Oh, nice. Yeah, level three. Cena is three, level three. Oh, I got a little smarter too. A 13. Nice, oh, nice, nice, nice. Woo! I was taking a bit of chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Ridiculous, that's what it is. All right, let's go to my house real quick. And let's save. Let's call Dad and save our, save our uh, data. Pick up the receiver, Dad. It's your dad. I just oh, he also gave me money. That's awesome. Taking taking away what you've spent, you should now have sixty three in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level. Oh, nice. Anyway, what do you need? Record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Alright, so let's just end it right here. In the next episode, we will bring uh, Pokey and Picky back to their parents' house. Um, but this was a little uh, around, um, I don't know, about 30 minutes. It's a little longer than I want it to be. I want to keep it around 20 minutes. Not too long, not too, sh not too short, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed Earthbound. I know I'm enjoying it so far, and I really want to see what happens next in the game. Um, I've been wanting to play this game ever since like I played Smash Bros. on the N64 when I heard about who Ness was and where he was from, um, and I finally am able to play it. So I hope you guys are excited, and I hope you guys continue to watch this series as well as our other series. I think I am also going to start doing a Fallout 3 um, throwback 
uh, series as well. So hope you guys check that out as well, as well as all of our other content. Um, since this is the beginning of the year, we all also start doing reviews whenever games start coming out again. Um, just because the end of the year is always hectic and so many stuff comes out. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a, uh, hit that like button if you did. And also please leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section down below. All uh, comments and suggestions are appreciated. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Signing out. Peace.